Hi everyone, this is Karen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trace a simple logo design. Someone in one of the Silhouette groups was asking about this. She's received a request to put this logo on, I think it was t-shirts, so she doesn't know how to get the file into her Silhouette program. So what I've done is I've done a screen capture of her image. I'm hoping that she has a better image to work with because this is actually going to be very small. Um, but I'll go through the steps of how this would be done. So to get the image, I will go into File, Open, go to where I've saved the image, open that in Silhouette Studio. And now you see how tiny this is. So it's going to be a problem to trace probably. So I can make this bigger. But once you do that, look at the detail that you have in there. That could cause you problems for tracing. So I'm not going to make it too, too big. I'm going to stay to there. So then what you need to go, do is come over to your tracing window. Click open the trace window, and then you need to click select the trace area. You draw a rectangle around what you want to trace. It looks like it's probably going to be okay. And then I always turn off the high pass filter unless I want it for some reason. So this is looking not too bad. I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to click the trace button. So when I pull this away, now you see that I've got the image and this looks like it's going to be okay. Let's just drag it out and see. Okay. Now you see there are details here. These did not trace very well. Let me try making some adjustments on the trace. Select the trace area, draw a box around it, turn off the high pass filter, and I'm going to slide this over quite a bit. Whatever you see in yellow is what you're going to have as your cutting lines. Okay, I'm not going to go further than that. Let's see what this does. I'm going to click trace. Okay, so that's the best result. Now you see there are some edges that are not so sharp. Let's move this out of the way and I'm going to zoom in and you'll see what I mean. You see over here and here. Now you can fix that by editing the nodes. You would right click here and delete this point. You would need to curve that a little bit, change how this is curving as well. And that starts to look a bit better. Let's try this one last little bit. This one here. I'm just going to drag this up a little bit. And maybe this as well. Let's see. And you see that's already better. So you can do that. You would need to get rid of this little piece over here. So what you would do is you would right click, you would release the compound path. And now everything here is separate bits. So you can click this and delete it. You can look through for problems like that. You see how this is too straight over here and there's some bumps. All of this jaggedness is due to the low quality image. Okay, so I will zoom back out and you can see that you now have cutting lines. Whatever is in red is a cutting line. Okay, so now I need to remember to make my compound path again to make it what it was. And if I fill it in now, you'll see if there are any broken lines, this will show up now. There aren't, so that's fine. However, as I said, you want to use a higher quality image. The image being used is probably higher quality, and if not, then you need to request a higher quality image or find a better one. But since this is a company that's asking you to do it, then they should have a better quality image for you. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks so much for watching.